Okay, so we've we've made the two main body sections. Now let's have a look at the cover. So we've got a screw cut cover that we need to model. We can go back to our template sketches and uh, copy some geometry out. So let's change to the right view. And over here, we've got an outline of the cover. So we need to sketch on the right plane. We can convert the geometry from a template sketch. Now let's get rid of all the bits that we don't want. And there is a fair amount that we don't want. So we can just delete pretty much everything here other than what's at the front. So we need to add a line back in. We've deleted one line too many. Okay, so here's our template for our cover. So we need to put together a revolve. Just put in my reference line for the revolve in. It needs to be construction geometry. Okay, revolve, select the part to revolve, we've already got the axis selected, we're not going to merge because we're obviously creating a new part, and there is the basis for the cap, let's hide some sketch work there, and here you can see the cap on its own. But there's a, a few more bits we need to model. On template sketch three, for instance, we have a template for the teeth. We used this before on the main body, but we only used the leftmost tooth. This time we can use the rightmost tooth. But for those of you who remember, we need to construct this tooth to the same profile that we built for the main body. So let's just get rid of the tooth that we want to get rid of. So we've drawn on the right plane that a copy or convert entities of the tooth that we're interested in. So that is our template sketch. Now we need some reference geometry and in, this is in the form of a plane. So we need to offset from the front plane, and make this parallel. And then for our second reference, we need to pick a vertex, which will be the edge of the tooth. OK, so we're happy with that. Right. And on this reference plane, we need, we need another reference okay so now we're sketching the circle and the circle we're going to we're sketching on the reference plane is it's basically we're going to produce our helical spiral basically a spiral. So we need to choose the same pitch, the same number of revolutions as we did for the main body. And you can see the number of coils we've, revolutions we've added. And it's really important that the spiral intersects the sketch.
say profile path selecting the path this is for our sweep okay so we've put together a rough sweep oh, we've got some extra geometry that we didn't want so we can get rid of this There are a few ways we can get rid of it. I'm opting here to extend a face slightly so the uh, geometry that I put in doesn't interfere. You could always just cut that geometry out after modeling it. But if I just bring this face out a little bit further I can ignore that geometry we just need to make this vertical and the sketch is fully constrained again so you can see the geometry that was sticking out after the sweep has now disappeared but we do have an extra bit on the other end that we need to get rid of So I'm drawing on the right plane and I need to put together a sketch profile to cut some geometry away. So I'm going to draw this funny little shape, It'll become obvious why I'm doing it in a minute. And let's constrain it. And the idea of this sketch is going to be a cut revolve. And then it's to pretty much clean up this end. So we're going to get rid of the unwanted thread section. But we're also going to use this feature to cut a chamfer in the end of the cap. So we just need to take a look at that diagonal line. And we need to fix the geometry somehow. So I'm choosing to add an angle. So you can see the geometry that's likely to disappear when I uh, revolve this cut we can modify the sketch until we get the kind of profile we're looking for so let's have a go i'm happy right so we need an axis so let's uh, open up the axis is that are pre-drawn okay so this is going this is the cut select the bodies we only want to do this through the cap. Okay, so we've got rid of the thread, thread section that we want to get rid of. So let's look at the whole body. You can see the thread kind of, there's a small chamfer there. We need to add some rads in. So that's, we can't add all the rads that we need to do in one go to the tooth profile because um, it's going to alarm out. SolidWorks isn't going to like it. So we have to do it in bits and pieces. Sometimes this uh, this happens when 
it sometimes SolidWorks doesn't want to uh, compute, or there's just too many faces to compute. So uh, the program doesn't want to process the information. So if we just do it in a series of features, we can get the profile we want. So you can see the cap is really coming together now. We're almost finished. And I'll show you in a minute that this matches up to the main body sections that we've modeled. So let's bring them back. And here's my cut through. You can see the tooth profile matches up. This is all because we use the, we've used the same pitch and we've used the same template, which was template number three, to put together both tooth profiles. I need to just change the just change the image, change the color of just this part so we can identify the the cap from the other two body items. Okay, looks like a pretty decent color. And there is the cap. In the next videos we're going to focus on the lens and the reflector. Let's rename solid body cover. And that's it for this section. Okay, so let's have a look at the glass cover next. So we've got the we've got the two main bodies. We've got the screw cap cover. Now we can go back to the template sketch and find some geometry to clean, to put together our glass or even plastic um, see-through cover. So template sketch. Let's convert the entities and then let's start to lead in geometry that you don't want. So I can see the geometry I want for my plastic cover. So let's delete everything else around it. And uh, yeah, CAD decided it wanted to think about it for a while. Okay, so we're zeroing down on the geometry we want to keep. Let's get rid of that line. Okay, so yeah, again, I've uh, deleted one line too many, so let's add it back in. Okay, so we're pretty much there. And because this is a plastic cover, we can we can model it pretty easily. So simply a revolve base 
middle of our part can we can use as our line reference our axis of revolution select the contours model the part remember not to merge the part with anything else So we need to find now a suitable see-through or translucent plastic. So anything translucent. That looks extremely translucent. And there you can see the material. And if we wanted to make any edits, we just right click on the on the material. And that is pretty much the cap. Just changing the transparency there. quite like it let's just show you a cross section just to show where the cap and the plastic cover fit into the model and that's it okay so let's have a look at making one of the internal components we're going to try and model the reflector so let's go as ever back to our template sketch. We're on the right view. Highlight the first template sketch and our reflector geometry is right there at the front. Again, let's delete the geometry we don't want. We've converted entities on a new drawing. We don't want the lens cover this time. We don't want the cap. We don't want any main body components. Okay, so we're getting rid of some more main body geometry. Just the last few bits. Okay, let's get rid of the bulb. We don't need the bulb. Okay, so we're pretty much there with the cover. Okay, so let's start. Let's find the central axis to revolve this housing around. So we need to just need to put together a revolve base. Revolve. There we go. So you can see it fits in to the geometry quite well. We don't need to merge the part. And there you go. So it's fitting in there quite snugly. we want to make this part not translucent but we want to make it reflective so let's try some polished steel and there you go one revolve 
let's put it in its own cover in its own folder the reflector and that's the first of our internal components modeled we still need a switch a couple of batteries some contacts and the bulb going forward I'm happy with this for now.